I'm surrounded by these orange shirts and it's it's amazing and I'm grateful. It's holding me up while even when I'm walking with my memories today. A near endless stream of orange on Portage in Maine as thousands of Manitobans walk for the National Day for Truth and Reconciliation and Orange Shirt Day and share with us what the day means to them. As a uh, family member that uh, went to residential school, uh, I, I, I feel proud. I feel proud for, for this day. It's good to see unity amongst our people. Yeah. And, 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 and this day brings that unity. What it means to me is that Canada is moving forward in the right direction. Uh, my, my mother attended residential school. Over the past 15 years, I mean, I've just been seeing uh, more and more appetite beyond the Indigenous community for repairing that relationship. Uh, you look up and down the streets and you see thousands of, upon thousands of people, every walk of life, every race, every color. It's a beautiful thing to be a part of. Feeling good because it's, gonna, it's coming to the surface now. Yeah. It's coming to the light. It's bringing everything, bringing everything up that's uh, supposed to be brought up and towards reconciliation. Every a lot to me because a lot of kids died at residential school. And walking for my dad, he was a residential school survivor and that's why we wear orange today. It is awesome that everybody is doing this walk. It means a lot and it's history. I walk for just the missing and murdered indigenous women, the, all the children that so were able to go back oh, to yeah, their yeah, families yeah, and yeah. survive the residential school. I walk for all our people, our Indigenous people, all the survivors and those children that didn't make it home from the Indian residential school. So it's, it's, a, it's a big day, carry a lot, but it's worth it. People shaking hands with me, it was like acknowledgement of our history and that this is so many more people when I look around across the crowds, I see how many have heard our stories. And you multiply that by a few hundred, and that, that is amazing. In Winnipeg, Mike Albanese, City News.